we always learn about pi. Teachers would say that pi is this long number, this symbol, but what actually is pi? That's what we're gonna demystify. I got various circles with different sizes and I ask each of my groups of students to measure the circumference and the diameter. Based on the students' results, they got the circumferences and the diameters. These are the circumference in millimeters and the diameters. They got their calculator and divided the circumference by the diameter. They got all of these results. They observed the ratio of the circumference and the diameter. They have an observation. They said, we have a 3 as a whole number. The 3 is always appears. And then, there is also a decimal part of it. That's the observation. And based on that observation about the table, the students said that the circumference... ...is... ...a little... ...bit more than 3 more than 3 times the diameter see that? but technically that a little bit more than 3 times is 3.14159265 dot 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 mathematicians all over the world measured all the circle and they got this ratio and they agreed on this and this is the ratio they use they just called it as a shortcut they use the pi symbol a Greek letter pi to designate that it's three and a little bit more so whenever you see three and a little bit more you can say pi times the diameter and that's your circumference. There goes the story of pi and its relationship with the diameter and the circumference.